And joining us now here courtside, presented by Gatorade, Irish head coach Mike Bray. You got here a little early. You heard that play. I think the play we just broadcast to the folks with your guys diving all over the floor, scrapping for the game. You guys, after a great start, really had to battle to win this game. No, and they, you know, I, I, I thought this would be a, a challenge for us. I mean, they've got, you know, ACC bodies. They're big. They're athletic. Um, I thought they really defended us well after that initial thrust. And for us, you know, it wasn't going to be easy. So how do you then how do you react? And can you kind of dig one out? And I thought we, we did enough, and we certainly did enough on the defensive end to escape, you know, tonight. Coach, you mentioned their defense certainly icing the ball screen, trying to force everything to that sideline. How much did that get you out of your offensive rhythm? Yeah, that changes things a little bit. We try to prepare for it, but we don't see it that much. And, and I think their athletic ability and size – bothered us when they pushed it down like that um, we we definitely need some work on that um, of course you know we got 22 offensive rebounds and that's just effort and guts and and flying around and and of course you know Mooney was uh, I think we'll give him the day off tomorrow you know <laughs> I mean John Mooney stepped up career high 28 points second straight 16 rebound effort and there were times when no one else could get it going. And that's what you want from a guy who's first team all league. He said, you know what? Give it to me. I will carry you to victory. And, you know, that's still kind of new territory for him. Yeah. I still think he's too unselfish sometimes when he needs to just go and get fouled. I thought at key possessions, there's no question, in the second half, he did that. But that's still kind of a, kind of a new role for him. And, Coach, certainly something you've been talking about in the offseason and early on this season is – is establishing a home identity and, and being tough. And I thought one player who really just jumped out at us today was Dane Goodwin. It seems yeah. like he just got toughness in his bones. And when you guys needed a big play in the second half, he was uh, often the one making it. Well, he plays, you know, seven rebounds. There's a fearlessness and a toughness about him. And, you know, he's not a rookie. He played a lot last year. So he should be pretty, you know, confident. I, I feel for Robbie a little bit. He got dinged on that play. And, and, and we need him, but yep. we never really could get him going. We got to get him healthy for Monday. And we had to play a little smaller tonight because they're hard to deal with with the, the four guards out there. And, and I thought our guard rotation, you know, the four guards we played at the end of the game really defended well, and Johnny anchored us back there. I mentioned to start the interview, the great start you got off to. We saw Bray Ball out there running up and down the floor, getting to the basket, three straight threes. It looked like it was going to be a blowout. Yeah. And you've got to give Marshall some credit for this, but then the shooting went away. So what steps do you take the next month to be able to maintain that kind of offensive effectiveness? Because you've had two straight before tonight, two straight games where you were good offensively the whole game. Yeah, I, I think our bench needs to help us in that area more, and, and they didn't help us quite as much as they have been. Um, and, and then when we can get stops and run, we were running early. We were getting down the floor early. Yeah. And really the, the second half became more of a half-court game. And, you know, then you got to figure out how to win it and, and how to grind a little bit. You know, we didn't turn it over. We were good with the ball. You know, maybe we took some quick shots or some bad shots, but at least we got shots. And a lot of times we got some second shots. We got some rebounds. You know, and, and that saved us a little bit. This is really the construction phase of the year for this team. Three more days, you're back on this floor. So what are you working on the next two days? Well, I, I think for us, we, you know, continue to, to talk about how we defend and, and, and be able to do that. They shot 40%. Would they shoot 39 for the game, 40 for the game, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Can we still defend and get into people? Because that's going to bail us out. There's going to be nights and stre stretches like here where we don't shoot it well. Can we guard enough? And this was a rather little bit different scoring game. You know, you, you know can we get into the 70s and keep people in the 60s? You know, that, there's going to be nights you have to do that. So maybe this is one to learn from. All right, Mike, thank, thank you, you for the time. Thanks.